Hello everyone, this is Tengu Ru, and welcome back to another Bloodborne boss drawing. In the last episode, we completed the Nightmare of Mensis and fought Mergos Wet Nurse. Before finishing the last two bosses, however, we will use the eye of a blood drunk hunter to enter into the Hunter's Nightmare. A hunter who goes drunk with blood is said to be taken by the Nightmare, destined to wander forever engaged in an endless hunt. It is a fate that no hunter can escape. Getting grabbed by the amygdala just outside Uden Chapel while carrying this eye will take us into the nightmare. This twisted version of the Cathedral Ward is filled with crazed hunters and even the beasts that reside here proceed with caution. Cutting our way through the familiar setting, we eventually reach River of Blood that leads us to our hunt. The great monstrosity that we encounter was once Ludwig, the first hunter of the Healing Church. Ludwig once served as the captain of the church hunters long ago. He would ride out to lead his hunters through Yarnum to keep the beasts at bay, and his return to the great cathedral would signal the end of the hunt. Ludwig was the first of many Healing Church hunters to come many of whom were clerics. As we know, clerics transformed into the most hideous of beasts. Ludwig became trapped in the hunter's nightmare and appears to have merged with his horse, transforming him into one of the most grotesque bosses we have come to face. The fight with Ludwig the Accursed is one of the most difficult you will have encountered up to this point in the game. This savage boss will attack from all angles and often leave you with little opportunity to safely get in hits or heal. It's often better to be every bit as aggressive, staying close to the boss and using regain to heal when possible. He has a nasty kick attack if you try to get behind him, so staying to his sides is usually a safe bet. You can also deal limb damage to each of his sides separately, so try to take advantage of that. Quickly damaging one side and then the other right after can leave him stunned for an extended period of time. As his health drops, he will pick up some new attacks, like a spray that deals arcane damage, and a deadly charge attack that deals massive physical damage. Staying at his sides will help avoid the spray, and be prepared to dodge his charge when you hear him scream. At half health, Ludwig has a massive change as he regains a sense of his old self, shifting from Ludwig the Accursed to Ludwig the Holy Blade. He draws his sword from his back and it becomes wreathed in glowing arcane energy. In this new form, you will have a completely new moveset to learn and new threats to deal with. You can stagger Ludwig in this phase to perform visceral attacks at the front of his body. I like to stay really close to him as I find many of his attacks will go right over your head and the rest can be avoided with well-timed dodges. Just stay on guard, for when he begins to charge up energy, he will do a massive AoE attack that can decimate you at close range. The fight will be grueling, but also one of the most rewarding in the game. You have a couple options for the NPC summons that you can bring in to help you with this fight. Old Hunter Henriette is just on the steps of the building with the lantern, and if you have the Impurity Rune equipped, you can bring in Volter. Volter is the head of a band of hunters and wields the Whirligig Saw. This weapon is extremely effective against this boss, and Volter's help can make a world of difference here. There are a lot of new weapons that become available in the Hunter's Nightmare, and it's impossible to fit them all in. I decided to add Volter to the drawing so I could show an extra weapon and meet the many requests I received for the Whirligig Saw. As for our hunter, I decided to go with the Beast Cutter for our weapon. This thick, iron cleaver slices through the toughest of beast hides, and when transformed, the blade splits into sections, allowing one to lash it in the fashion of a heavy whip. This crude weapon relies on brute force and is regrettably inelegant, suggesting that the hunts of the earliest hunters made for horrific affairs, painted in sanguine black and reds. In similar fashion, I thought it would be best to dress like the old hunters as well. This 
is the garb of those that started the beastly hunts that are still practiced even now. One day, the old hunters disappeared, and Yarnamites began to whisper of the hunter's sin. Drunk with blood, chasing beasts, they would pass on to the nightmare, every last one of them. With Ludwig wrapping up, we have completed our first... With Ludwig wrapping up, with Ludwig wrapping up, we will have completed our first boss of the Hunter's Nightmare. We will be able to unlock an optional boss before pressing on to the research hall through an item we discover, so I think we should take that boss on before pressing forward. Lawrence, the first vicar awaits us, and if you have any suggestions for gear in that drawing, let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.